sorry. It's just this alternate body parts business. Feet, you know, doing different things. One fears there is something in her that is misaligned. One suspects a planetary influence. The East End will eat her for breakfast. Or, as Madame Coco once said of Chanel Number no. 5, it should be applied everywhere a woman expects to be kissed. Uh, well, I won't bother then. Good, an extra pair of hands. Doreen Riley, she's the twins case in Quebec Street. Don't need an extra pair of hands, we need an octopus. When I get back from Mrs Riley, I'll contact the aquarium. In the meantime, the new girl... The fact that her nose is running. Oh. Got time for a cigarette to calm my nerves, Vi. Oh, not having any naked flames near this, you'll go up like a bonfire. There. Oh, thank you. <gasps> you are a woman comfortable with making decisions. Look at him directly in the eyes and say it like it's the naughtiest thing you've ever said in your life. Mm. Fish and chips, please. And can you put the vinegar on first? <laughs> <laughs> for me! Right. Let's have a check at this pulse. Oh! oh. Pulse attempted. Evening. Good evening. You look well. Well, how do you? <sighs> Enough. I cannot watch any more. Constable Noakes, would you like to take Nurse Brown to the pictures on Friday evening? I, uh... Simple question, yes or no? Yes. Yes, I would. Nurse Brown, would you like to go? I'd love to. Excellent. How marvellous for you both. And now I can get on and enjoy my cake. Cauliflower is delicious. Do we grow onions? Oh, please stop wittering about vegetables. I could not care less. <sighs> See what you make of this. And if that doesn't impress you, you can do it again in a different key. <laughs> Catch it, Nurse Lee. It's heading for the door. Is that Ruby's baby? Or is there something you haven't told us? I'm giving Mrs Roberts time to adjust. We deliver the babies, Nurse Lee. We don't bring them up. Sister Julian has sanctioned my involvement. So she decided to personify the wise men's gifts. And what's that supposed to be? Ma. It's quite straightforward compared to frankincense. For trimming the tummy and slimming the flanks. Which one copy you? That's right, Valerie. Oh, I'll pay for this come the morning. Daily practice is the key for exercise. You'd all be better off getting up early and joining me in my Canadian Air Force regime. I can't be done with this. Grown men running about in fancy dress and making out a foam box can travel through space and time. I shall repair to my room and extend my understanding of the Spanish intransitivo. Why don't we have a show of hands about putting on the wireless? Oh, oh but it's so exciting! The doctor's assistant has just been mistaken for an ancient high priestess who seeks to exploit her influence to outlaw human sacrifice. I think we will all sleep better if we switch to the light programme. Can anyone 
doesn't smell anything slightly musky. It isn't me, is it? You're not usually challenged in the personal daintiness department, Barbara. Well, circumstances are rather exceptional. You shall have to set two with the life boy. But I was three feet away from Tom on the bus. Bad enough I got that bit of sick on his trousers in the Bay of Biscay. There are some memories even life boy can't erase. Whichever soap you choose, I suggest you apply it with a bit of backbone. <laughs> you are quite the dark horse. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I've got the balance of flavours right. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Constitution. 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 Constitution.